in a little bit more and first force done to kick it outside to have somebody knock down the jump shot. Etherington call for the foul, team second. Dunham finding Petzl. Mismatch goes right at Dunham. Dunham. Very similar fashion how they started against Xavier, as you mentioned, Justin. They're three for three from beyond the arc. Pretty spin move and dunk by Benzel. DC. Benzel over Hayes. Big time ball. And here we go over the second half. What kind of adjustments does Zen Cooley make against this zone? You know he was on the board. A lot more screening. Probably go straight up man now. Uh-huh. Uh, just to make them think a little bit. Not a bad move. Yo-Yo with back and forth. Providence goes inside to Benson. Right down to jump. To allow the play to open up. Archie Diakono didn't rush the situation. And he knew where the boots was on the back side. Run being chased. Bento catches it underneath. He's quickly doubled. Goes right through it and lays it. Will allow you to get back in the game. So excellent time for Providence to continue to chip off on his loop. Bento against Jenkins. Up and in. He's in the double fit. Four fouls. It's a gamble, but I think it's the right gamble. Down 11 with no real rhythm offensively. You need your best player on the court. Bento. Against Sonogo. Got it. That's what I played it in. Right by. Chris Dunn. They say three. Bento. <laughs> Too easy. He, does, he really does a nice job and a nice non call by the refs, too. Cheatham got nine. The screen, ball screen. Look at the post done. A little double screen as well. Could have done some good things for him. As they should. Here's the big <laughs> scoring leader, Pinto. What do you a hangover today? He had a huge lead. He gets a great point. Huge lead over St. John's. I think Johnny's got it to six, and that's when Dunn took over. He scored 12 straight as Pinto. I want my guys to shoot. I don't care if they miss. I'd rather you shoot it and miss than turn it over. And that's the kind of coach you want to play with. He's going to instill confidence in you. He wants guys taking shots. Just play basketball. Justin Kutcher alongside Dickie Simpkins from the Dunkin' Donuts Center here in Providence. Part of our Big East Marathon here on January 2nd. All 10 Big East teams in action here on FS1. Shot clock down to nine. Dunn, guarded by Johnson. Gets it down to Bentel. Got the mismatch. Lowers the shoulder against Yachtley. By Keelan Martin there. What a decision that time. A little hesitation. Pulled the ball back out. But he allowed Wideman, the trailing big, to get in position inside to get an easy basket. Bentel against Wideman. Bentel, pretty little jump hook. The missed shot. Getting back on Lewis, he has really increased the pace of this Butler program, getting out in transition, leading the Big East in offensive production. Butler Bulldogs not used to doing that year in and year out. Lindsay feeds down low for Benzel off the glass and in. And off the window. See, that's letting the offense come to you. Aggressive and then going to the pull-up. They tried to force everything at the front of the rim early. Bentel with a <laughs> by Lundy. So 11 point lead. 640 to go. Here we go. The mama's been pretty quiet in this game, Bentel. Go. Going right at Thomas. 47-45. Providence leading by two. Benzel, running shot, gets the roll. Well, apparently a clock issue for the momentary pause that we had. Six minutes gone by, and Benzel yeah. gets it done again. Guys. Usually challenged offensively in a good rhythm tonight so far on the offensive end. Well, Providence likes to play fast. And Cooley wants his guys to run up and down the floor. This is Benzel going to work on Martin. 
Lindsay. No. There's Bentzel. He's had an excellent last few games. Four straight with 20 or more. Nice spin move. Rim. He knew Bentel with the foul trouble would back away, and he did. Bentel's got two. Dunn just three of eight from the field in the first half. Terrell right on his hip. Bentzel. Nice hook. They just cannot control him, and he is going from the three-point line right to the other side of the rim. There's got to be some sort of rotation by Providence on the backside to slow down Garrett. You said it. They can't control him. 15 points. Says his favorite player to watch is Chris Paul. He's making some nifty CP3 moves. Step to create space. Very comfortable with that mid-range game. Well, Friars by five right now. Lindsay back in the game here for the Friars. Chris Dunn on top right now. Dunn to Bento. Well, turn around. Good there for Bento. That's the time. Shoot the outside shot. But that's, a t that's staying disciplined and attention to detail in your scouting report, knowing that Roosevelt Jones doesn't want to shoot from the perimeter. Jump hook by Bento. He is big. He's a guy who can shoot the ball off the bounce or off the catch and primarily a three-point shooter, but shows a nice touch from the mid-range. Well, they didn't score in the last five and a half minutes of the first half. They get a basket, but a quick answer here for the Friars. And that's his fourth rebound already in this game. He is the defensive rebounder right now for Providence. He's working hard inside. And a jump hook, and Providence takes the lead. Ben Nair on the play and still hit it. Aaron Harris attacks. And Ventil gets it. Here come the Friars. And Teal rattles it in on the baseline. And he has not. has been the go-to guy in the first half and it continues for the sophomore games when you play the not so good teams to see if you get up for those games because that's a sign of a true professional nice win for the Clippers today yeah we'll take it <laughs> yeah what, what where is that team right now where is your squad at right now? expectations high Chris done a beautiful pass down low with Ben Teal what's what's the one trait that you think in order to make it in the league this is something you've got to learn that's different from the college game. Man, you got to learn the pace of the game. Uh, and then the, one of the biggest things you got to do is you got to learn how to play defense. And it's team defense. Ben nice. Bentil. So, nice. so big. Great finals lined up tomorrow. Xavier versus Dayton. Archie Miller in the final in Orlando. So his brother be in the final here in Anaheim. And Bentil. And a goaltend called on Mark Tollefson. Championship in the College Insider Tournament last year. Had to beat some 20-win clubs along the way. And that was good for their confidence to try to get back to the NCAA Tournament this year for the first time since 1999. Yeah, and let's remember, we're in November. I mean, there's a lot of basketball still to be played. And the end result and the end goal for these teams is to find out who you are as a team. Okay? Smith will miss them both. Randy Bullock on the rebound, quickly up the floor. Cartwright. Looking down low. Bent a little turnaround. His first bucket. He's got a little inside game, too. Put on 15 pounds of muscle. Are you jealous? <laughs> But he knows Fasigas can shoot it. He's a really good position player, Fasigas. In traffic. Be in the bottom four in the Big East. No. You don't want to play that extra game. Exactly. And, you know, you want to go in with a winning record in conference play when they look at your resume. Well, that's a big man's move, right? Lindsay, he slapped that one away. Got quick hands. Pintle. Nice. Solid move. I like that. <laughs> One of two for Stivage. The lead is 12 for Providence. 
If you're DePaul, do you change your defense at all here, or do you just keep playing what you're playing? Well, I would double team that young man, that's oh, for sure. Man. I'm curious. Do you think that we'll see what Chris Dunn really has in his arsenal? Because if we do, we may have a heck of a finish. He's been shut down throughout. It's been Bento and not a lot of, really a lot of help. Good thing to keep this momentum going, right? They found, they found a couple ways to stop, get some stops here on the defensive end. Oh my goodness, how about that drive? Well, they have the angles, the spacing, and Brunson, not not super athletic, but very shifty with his, his speed. Gets to the paint without resistance. Jump hook, Benzo. Now he's starting to pull Reynolds. He has 15. Great post entry pass. Benzo played over the top and the lob pass with the angle for Reynolds for an easy jump. Dunk. 42 to 27. Inside Benzo. The teardrop got it at the